All right, next up we have Brett Dalton and Elizabeth Henstridge from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, hello! So lovely! You look yeah. gorgeous! Thank you, but I, I've got body makeup on, I want to make you all. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit of behind the scenes. Hey, how are you? Smooth entrance. That was a smooth entrance. Do I stand here? Do I stand? Yes, you are standing exactly where you're supposed to be. I'm a little nervous to stand near you, given what's going on with that. But don't worry, I'm right here. All right, you're my shield. Clearly, go, yeah. Wow, good one. Good one. I'm quick. Nice. Yeah. I like the puns. I know you do too. Thank you. Yes, and I appreciate that one. Team pun. Team pun. The Civil War stuff. <laughs> Let's get together as wordsmiths. Just you know, chatting it up. We have to figure out the right type of people to have on our team if we're wordsmiths. I see what you did there. It's quite nice. Oh, what? I just got that. I don't know if I can play this game. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you a couple questions about the show. First off, congratulations on the renewal. Season four picked up. Thank you. We're so excited. Yes, yeah, I mean, I'm impressive, of course. I'm well, excited really, as well. Really so, okay, so let's just talk about Ward for a minute. Um, you have gone through so many physical manifestations this season. What's that been like for you? How do you prepare for that? Um, are you, like, body makeup, you're wearing contacts? Give the fans an inside look. <laughs> you had to get really thin that one time, get really thin. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how you prepare for that. I mean, every day, uh, I, I never know what the writers are going to throw at me. Um, certainly for that last episode, I had to work on my runway walk, um, as you saw. Um, there were wind machines and everything. I, I feel like, you know, Tyra Banks would be proud. Oh, yeah. I really, I really tried to do my, my best with that. So you never know what the role is going to um, call for you to do. And that one, I just had to find my, my inner... Tyra. My inner Tyra. I was smizing the whole time. I think you'll agree. And as far as you go, you know, Gemma in the past has kind of always been a rule follower. So one might think she'd be on, you know, Team Iron Man. But we've definitely seen some changes with that this year. Where do you think she'd fall as far as this philosophical argument goes? I still think she'd be Team Iron Man. As much as she's softened emotionally, I think she will always go back to science. And I think that's what her and old Tony share. But we'll see. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet, so maybe she'll change her mind. Who would you rather have as a lab partner, Tony Stark or Dr. Banner? Dr. Banner, I feel like there'd just be like, you know, more tension, kind of. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> that's true, that's true. And how about you, Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me if uh, who, who would I like as my lab partner. Um, is ha does Hive spend time in the lab? <laughs> no, he doesn't. But if he did, um, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, so Right now, you're kind of Cap, right? Uh, yes. Team Cap or, or Team... Um, Iron Man, I think uh, Ward slash Hive would be Team Hydra, um, but I am personally a Team Cap. Who would you recruit for Team Hydra? Who would, if you could pick like three of them, who would you recruit? Oh man, that's a good question. What do you mean? You'll be like Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Widow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you answer for me just from here on out? <laughs> that actually seems to be a very popular choice. When I was interviewing the cast the other day, when I was like, who would you pick from one side? There, everyone just wanted Scarlet. So right. It's, yeah, that didn't feel, I feel like that's not surprising, yeah. you know? Do you think, I mean, is there anything that could break the agents up at this point and cause their own internal civil war? Aside from this budding romance between uh, uh, Hive and Simmons. Yeah, that's uh, going to be the main one. I season mean, four, season hello. Four, that's yeah. big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fitz, I don't know, Fitz kind of showed that he's got some moxie this time around, so you better watch out. Oh. I think both of these guys are not to be messed with. I think that this whole thing about the lab assistant thing is just really a, a show. I mean, these guys are really the. Uh, I, I think and, that's and, right. Uh, and, and, and fighty. And fighty <laughs> and just punchy. Yeah, kicky. punchy, sexy, and fighty. Pow, pow. Punchy, sexy, fighty. You heard it here. I think we need T-shirts with that. Uh, yeah. Hashtag it all up. Science is punchy, sexy, fighty. Yeah. <laughs> Science, Season four yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> Speaking of hashtags, you guys do such a great job of live tweeting and of talking with the fans. What's that experience been like for you, getting all that feedback immediately? It's cool. It's something that we feel really lucky that we get to have because we shoot in a vacuum and, you know, you don't get that interaction. And, and the fans have always been so lovely to us. And even if they haven't loved an episode, they've been very positive about how it could be improved. And we felt very welcomed into the whole Marvel universe. So, yeah, I feel like... 
It's been a good experience. Well, you guys are a very important part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Have a fantastic time tonight inside. Enjoy the Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So beautiful. Thank you. You guys what too. You are neutral. Neutral. Yes. I mean, what's pink? You deliberately kinda... did not wear red or blue. Go right in the middle. I'm not gonna lie, that's totally true. I had a blue dress, I didn't wear it because I didn't want to seem partial. Right. I almost wore that color too, I'm glad I changed the color. Yeah. Alright, have a fantastic Thank time you. tonight. Great to Thanks. see you. Bye. Alright, we have Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, the screenwriters of Captain America 